No, we're excited. Uh, we've been excited from day one, and we're even more excited now to get this thing going for real. So, um, you know, we got our guys in the gym. We're, we're ready and prepared for tomorrow, and can't wait to tip it off. Yeah, no, he definitely pushed us. Um, you know, we he put us through some adversity, had some tough days, uh, and we got after it. And I think we're going to be better for it, definitely. You're a few years in now. Mm -hmm. What's your feeling around opening night? You like what? You still get, like, butterflies? You still get extra um, excitement? Is it just another game to you? I mean, it's new for me this year. I mean, I just feel like everything, I'm kind of restarting. So, uh, you know, I'm in a new place, new environment. So, um, looking forward to getting this season started with these guys and this group and um, seeing what we can do. So yeah, there's there's some, definitely some excitement there. Going back, what was your first impression of Evan Mobley when you first played against him? Yeah. And like in what way has that? Evolved? I said that, I said that kid's gonna be really good. The, the first time we played him, I, he just he, he's a skill set that you can't find with a lot of seven footers. So um, he, he's super talented. Uh, he, he knows how to play the game. Uh, he's really smart. So I think the future is very bright for him. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to him making me better and, and for me to make him a little bit better. So I think he's got a very bright future in front of him. Have you gained like a greater appreciation for him now yeah. that you're around him? Yeah, definitely, basis? definitely. Um, I think offensively, I, I didn't know he's this high of an IQ guy. Um, you know, he sees the game, he sees the floor really well um, and just knows how to play. And then defensively, um, just such a such of a rim presence, um, just always in the right spot. And, uh, I think he's destined for a big year on both sides of the ball. Uh, JB in some ways, this is pretty wide open how you guys are playing. You're, you're a guy who's seen it from the record. Is this the most wide open you've ever been in your career at times? Um, I mean, in Miami, we play with a lot of spacing. Uh, that's just how we, we play basketball. So um, I think just the, the amount of guys that can get downhill on this team and create their own shots is um, – pretty special and unique and uh, something that I'm getting used to and being around. So uh, there's definitely a lot of spacing on the floor, and I think it's going to make those guys even better than you know the years they had last year. And looking back to how your career started, if you were to tell the guy who's starting his NBA career, would the guy who started his career be tough? Yeah. I believed I was going to be here from day one. Um, if you don't have that mentality you're not going to make it so you got to envision where you want to be and then make it happen so yes this is a team that hasn't had a guy with your skill set in a little while um, Donovan actually said that it reminds him of playing with Kyle Gorber in Utah and Kyle was here as well um, in 2018 do you feel like you guys have any similarities in the way that you guys move around the floor in the half court me and Kyle Gorber mm -hmm. um, yeah uh, I think the, the, the actions that he ran off the type of shots that he can shoot I think I'm capable of. Um, I think I have a little bit, no disrespect to Kyle Corver, I think he's a great player, but I just think I have a little more to my game. He's probably a better shooter than I was, but I think I can do a little bit more um, with the ball in my hand or getting in the paint um, and creating for others as well. Is that somebody that you watched uh, film on like before you came into the league and all that stuff? Yeah, or? yeah, him, J.J. Redick, okay. Clay Thompson, uh, Bellinelli, I mean, all, all types of guys like that. Going back to that match, do you believe there's enough room in this offense for you to tap into that aspect of your game? Yeah, definitely. JB's making an effort to do it too, and uh, the guys have made a concerted, a concerted effort to find me. So, yeah, I do, I do think there's room for it. Isaac's awesome. Um, I'm very happy I'm on He's he, on the same team as him. Um, I dreaded playing against him and him having to guard me. Um, just his, the, his physical presence and his ability to guard the ball and, and guard guys um, on actions and everything like that. I just never wanted him to guard me. So very happy that I'm on his team and, and happy to have him alongside of me. And he's had a really good uh, preseason. Uh, and I think he's going to have a, you know, a breakthrough year for sure. It's going to be what? It's Isaac's going to be the one that's happening on defense, and you're the offensive player. What's, what's oh, it's a nightmare. Um, yeah, he just makes it so tough. Um, his work ethic is second to none, um, and he just there's no quit in Isaac. So uh, he's going to make it as hard as he can on you to score, and um, he's really good at it and challenges himself.